Hey guys, Mike here, and this is your weekly Xbox news. Fallout 76 will be getting lots of new content for 2022, and Bethesda has laid out a roadmap for what these updates will entail. The first update will be on March 1st, and it is titled Invaders from Beyond. This will be set across all six locations in Fallout 76, and sounds like it will deal with aliens invading the Fallout world. The second update will be in summer, and it will be called Test Your Metal. This will bring an arena-style public event that will test your armor and weapons. Bethesda will also release Fallout First scoreboard upgrades. In the fall, Expeditions of the Pit will launch and have you exploring outside of Appalachia into an area called the Pit. In the winter, Nuka World on Tour releases, and with it you will return to Appalachia with new public events and there will be a new region boss public event. Also, a good time to remind you guys that the Bethesda launcher is going away and in its place will be Steam. Bethesda will be asking players to transfer over their account information to Steam. More details on this will be coming in the future, so stay tuned. After 8 years, Atlas is going to release a game for the Xbox platform. That game is Soul Hackers 2. This is a spin-off series from the Megami Tensei series. The first Soul Hacker game released in 1997 for Sega Saturn. This is a turn-based RPG and it will release on August 25th for Xbox One and Xbox Series consoles. Rainbow Six Siege is getting more content and updates in its 7th year. Some of these updates will be new maps, a new operator, new player behavior, and anti-cheat updates console-specific updates, and new content overall. Over the course of the year, we will see new operators from Japan, Belgium, Singapore, and Colombia. Consoles will receive match replay and will get aim control, personalization, and the very nice field of view settings. There will also be new competitive maps and a new team deathmatch mode and a new map to go along with it. Okay guys, from post of the week goes to Proven and it is titled Grub Speculation Microsoft Could Remaster All Major Microsoft Franchises, Including Gears of War and Fallout. This sounds really great and would bring a lot of classic games back. However, this is just speculation. I would personally love to see Rare's games from Banjo-Kazooie and Perfect Dark get decent remasters. However, they both did get a nice 360 upgrade. The Elder Scrolls sounds like a good idea, along with the Fallout franchise. Some have suggested bringing back Project Gotham as a remastered series. What would you guys like to see Microsoft release a remaster of? Let us know in our forums. I will post a link to the thread below. Okay guys, that is all for me today. If you want to hear more from me, you can follow me on Twitter at FalconXLive or on Twitch at FalconXLive. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hear more from Xbox Error, click that subscribe button. Take care and I'll see you soon.